Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to read him for you, uh, couples, Virgo couples. Um, so anybody that's in a union, whether good, bad or indifferent, this could be for you. Um, do check out your other placements though, because it's not going to resonate for every Virgo out there. So your moon, rising, Venus, uh, any stellium you might have, uh, descendant can hold, uh, hold messages for you. Uh, thank you for the like, shares and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. So if you want to keep uh, me doing this, uh, which I really enjoy doing, I hope enjoy providing these for you. Uh, but I need those numbers up, so if you haven't done so, please do, it's much appreciated. And if you want to delve in deeper to your own situation, check out the description box, details of private readings are in there. Okay, so today we've got a, we're going to take a card for your current energy between you, a card for how you're feeling, how they're feeling, an obstacle, um, advice, outcome, and then we'll clarify those for you. Okay, one more. Okay, Virgo, what we got? So, the current energy between you, Ten of Cups, happy family life, beautiful. Don't get much better than that. Throw in the Ten of Pentacles and we're uh, we're all good, we're laughing. What's your energy? Two of Swords, okay. Turning a blind eye to something. What's your person? Justice, Libra energy. Okay. I keep, I kind of feel like the Ten of Cups is the energy you want. But you're currently in separations. A lot of, I mean, Two of Swords is also a Libra card. It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but uh, predominantly Libra. Um, so you can very easily be dealing with a Libra or you have heavy Libra in your chart. I kind of feel like this is what you want. So I'm going to say you're in separation with your person at the moment, hence by I'm picking up like blocked or maybe ignoring your emotions somewhere. What's blocking you? Six of Pentacles. Again, Libra energy uh, with the scales here. Very easily dealing with the Libra. Uh, a lack of an unfair balance with in, in whatever take it was, whether it's financial, whether it's love. You know, there was an unfair give and take between you and this person. And maybe they've turned the back, or you've turned the back on them, so it's your energy. Because of it. What's your advice? Nine of Swords. Stop worrying about it. It's affecting you badly. What's your outcome? The chariot. Moving forward. Moving forward quickly. Getting the victory you want. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck with a star and the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Well, this is your energy anyway, Virgo. This is a wish fulfillment. Your ships are going to come in. Um, I feel like this person's not gone. Is the energy I'm getting. But it's something that you're really worried about. Whether you're wor worried about. If you're worried about it, perhaps it's it's you that's not been very fair with this Six of Pentacles. Energies can switch, so however it fits. Um, but just with it being as an advice for you, just makes me wonder if it's. You know, it's your side that's not really given the uh, equal give and take. So you're worried that they might have gone. We'll see. I think your ships are coming in, so I don't think they've gone. Cancer energy here. We've got cups, we've got swords, and we've got... We've got everybody, three of ones, but on the deck, so we've got all, all signs are here, but the standouts so far are Cancer and Libra. Okay, there we go. So, Ten of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. Alright, you want, you want the happy family. I think your person is very attractive with the Page of Pentacles here. I do feel like this is what you want. The energy between you is what you want. You want the happy families with this person. Someone that you feel very, very attracted to. You think they're going to bring you stability. Um, and I kind of feel there's a lot of passion there. The star here is wish fulfillment, definitely. Two of swords, your energy. Of the six of wands. Okay, right. Um, 
dropping the ego, turning your back on your own ego, which is good. Um, I kind of fit, I I'm getting that in a lot of sort of messages recently. I think it's like the divine masculine is dropping their ego. Energies aside, we're all got our um, masculine and feminine uh, energies. So I kind of think this is you dropping the ego. Again, energies can cross, but we're down your side, so we're going to set you. Your person, Justice, with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, they could literally work in the Justice Department um, or in some type of law. But I kind of feel your person doesn't. They're just concentrating on work. I think they. Um, they've seen this unfair balance. And I feel. They're just. Concentrating. Literally concentrating on work. A lot of pentacles here. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but yeah. I just kind of see them. Honing away on the craft. Not really thinking about you anymore. Or trying not to think about you. Probably more. Makes more sense. Six of Pentacles blockage with the Queen of Wands. Okay. I kind of... The Queen of Wands is very confident. She's very... Um, very attractive, very... Very fiery. What are you showing me? Sorry, I'm getting like scattered things. Ah, okay. Right. Um, the unfair balance was you just you just saw this relationship as just passion, just sex. Or, like I say, energies can cross. But I think really there was love there with the Ten of Cups. But I kind of feel like you turned your back on it because of your ego. Maybe this person was really good looking, or is really good looking, and you know, with a page of pentacles here. And maybe it just massaged your ego, possibly. But in reality, there's a lot more to this relationship. And I think you're seeing that now. Dun, dun, dun. Advice, Nine of Swords with the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, you're worried because I think you now realise there's a spiritual connection between you. Um, and you see marriage. And you didn't before. Outcome, chariot with judgment. Wow, two major arcanas. Um, yeah, I think y you've made that decision now and you're going to go charging back. Again, like I say, energies can cross. You could, you know, this could be a person. Uh, and, and for some of you out there, I think that is the case. Um, but yeah, I think this is this is the epiphany that you've uh, that you've kind of had, and it's prompting you to go and charge back in because you want victory now. You want the you want the long term commitment. King of Wands, bottom of the deck. You want, you want to be the, you know, we've got, we've got both here now. King and Queen of Wands, um, with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be very, very financially well off together. I feel, but I think you're going to have to go back in. A lot of Earth energy, so you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um. I would say predominantly there's you know, being a lot of Taurus energy here with the Hierophant as well. But there's Lib strong Libra here. But we've got Wands, we've got um, everybody's on board. Uh, Judgment, Scorpio, um, Cancer with the Chariot card. But yeah, uh, your ego's dying, which is good. And um, in doing so, you realise that this relationship was more than just good sex, I think. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. I hope it helps. Um, I think you're seeing it now, and you're going to go charging back in because you don't you don't want to keep worrying. I think it's reciprocated. You know, you got the three of wands bottom of the deck. It's where your ships come in. It's manifesting. It's almost like three wishes, and the star underneath that. It looks good. So I won't worry too much. I certainly wouldn't. I'd, I'd certainly try and get out of the nine of swords. Um, mentality here because I think there's victory there for you in this relationship okay there we go 
uh, look after yourselves if you want to delve in deeper you know do reach out and uh, thank you for the likes shares and subscribes it uh, really helps and there you have it i shall see you next time take care bye